Hey everybody and uh, welcome to another instructive video uh, from Finout. I'm Yoav, the marketing director, and here we're going to talk about uh, Finout's AWS uh, cost management support. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, so stay tuned. Uh, now you're looking at the uh, first screen you're going to see, which is Finout's mega bill, the total cost of the account. Uh, if we want, we can just uh, see all the cost centers that we're going to review. Uh, in this mega bill, so currently you got AWS, GCP, and Kubernetes, but also uh, you can obviously monitor a Datadog, Snowflake, and additionally anything else you want, like a, a MongoDB, New Relic, Sysense, or whatever. But for this example, we're going to focus on AWS. So the thing, the first thing, and maybe probably the easiest one, is just filter by uh, go by by services and just review the cost. Uh, or by lines or by graph and understand how much you're paying per service uh, per day, per week, per month and uh, see all the changes. And you can also see it by table and, uh, and review it in depth or you can see coverage and understand it from here. Uh, the most interesting thing you can do is just drill down uh, and figure out example uh, for uh, for example, I took a, a EC2 filter that, and I'm reviewing exactly what's going on inside my EC2 to understand what affected my cost. Why is it so high? So in this day specifically, I can see that my compute charge is, is extremely uh, robust. So I can go to my compute and then view the raw data and understand exactly what's going on uh, in my AWS daily spent of. Uh, Computing. You can see here the combination in staging of Kubernetes, for example, uh, or untagged uh, allocation, which means that uh, there's something that maybe I haven't monitored, haven't tagged, and figure out the issue quite fast. Another element, obviously, is regions, uh, tags. Uh, so you can add EKS and EC2, for example, in the same place. You can also Look at here, obviously you, got, you can check even for a GKE and EKS in the same place. It's very easy to just combine, match, filter, slice and dice, whatever you want and understand your cost in seconds. Uh, as you can see, everything is super snappy, super fast. You can change currency, change uh, the way you look at your cost, or use saved views. For example, we can do a cost per service that's already saved. Uh, and then you get everything here from a specific service, which is kind of similar because that's a good service for AWS that we demonstrate. Uh, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. The, there's so much more uh, Finet can give you just for AWS alone and obviously for other elements in the mega bill. But secondly, you can see your uh, business context and create cost per whatever you want, gigabyte received, and then go for cost per transaction, cost per... Uh, a feature cost per segment and just match it over here if you in, and add KPIs and unit price. I can go a bit deeper to it later. I can create customized dashboards. For example, uh, here you have a cluster cost dashboard, for example, of GKE and EKS. Uh, if you want, you can another location group, which is also interesting. Uh, but if you want, you can obviously edit any any dashboard you want and just customize and filter the stuff you need or one of your teams you can create a dashboard for your finance financial team of your sales team or a bi or whatever and just say okay i want to i want them to see aws uh, cost explore fields if whatever availability zone and then um, uh, and, and then grew by aws uh, tags for example in same name and just give understand that this is what what we want them to see and just add it and return i need to write a name for example and i can save it and add it to my customized dashboard with any segment that i want any type of design i need another obviously i can create any unit economics i want also from here specifically which is extremely cool so I can just add as many filters as I want and add them and add a specific metric like transaction cost page view. Uh, so I can understand exactly how much I'm paying per specific transaction. 
with AWS or adding AWS and that available GCP or Kubernetes. So again, extremely customizable, extremely easy. Um, another thing that uh, you can see here is uh, regions, which is also very easy to look at total cost services by. Again, everything is modular, very, uh, very easy to use, very fast, fast very snappy. Uh, this is naturally can be attributed to any user, so you don't have a limitation on the amount of people that use it. Um, virtual tags is the ability to create any tagging you want. You don't need to rely on your AWS original tagging that you did, uh, and you can add them as you see fit. So you can add AWS tags with your uh, GCP, for example, if you're going to talk about the Kubernetes, so you can do GKE and EKS, tag them all with the unallocated and monitor them, all of them in the same place. Uh, or you can just filter specifically inside AWS and see uh, all the tagged and untagged elements inside them. Uh, here you can see all the tagging. You got uh, this is tag rules, which is the rest of the GCP, for example. Uh, this is also uh, very, very easily moved uh, shifts and adding default tag. So again, very easy to tag, for example, per team, very fast. Uh, that's all I'm gonna show you today regarding AWS tagging, but there was a lot more and uh, we can drill down even deeper. We haven't really spoken about cost per customer. Uh, that is a, a, a dashboard all, all, all on its own. We haven't spoken about specific reports uh, on how to create a business context regarding AWS and all the cool features that you can do, but leave something for the demo. So feel free to reach out and we'll uh, love to help you uh, getting created better with the system. Hope uh, you found it interesting and uh, goodbye.